Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tara and this channel is all about my farming journey. If you like my videos, please remember to give them a thumbs up. Oh boy. So in my last video, a lot of people seemed really concerned about this orange tree I have, that I'm wasting a lot of oranges and yeah, waste. Waste seems like the biggest problem. I just wanna let you guys know, we do not own the house that we live in. We rent, these orange trees have been here for who knows how long, and I will admit I have not done any research on how to take care of citrus trees. What I can tell you is the oranges on this tree do not taste good. There is a million oranges on it year round. I'm sure all the oranges need to be picked off of it at some point and that would probably help the flavor, but it's not at the top of my to-do list. Also, the orange trees have these crazy spikes on them that wanna kill you. I'm gonna show you guys. So if any of you wanna come over and pick all the oranges off these trees and take care of it, you just let me know. <laughs> All right, look at the spikes. See that? It's as long as my finger. And there's another one. And every single branch on this tree has these spikes. So that's why I don't go out of my way to pick the oranges. I'm, I'm really sorry if I offend anybody by not taking care of this tree, but it's just, like I said, not at the top of my to-do list. I've also been asked a couple times what kind of trees these are behind me. These are pear trees. We do not farm these pear trees. We don't own them. We don't lease them. We just live in the middle of them. Pear trees. It is a wet day. It's It just slowed down a little bit. It's sprinkling a little bit right now, but it was really pouring this morning. All the ladies look good. How are you ladies doing? Rescues are looking good. One of the girls must be up in, in the coop right now, which I don't know why you don't all stay in there, but how you doing babes? It's okay, good girl. If you guys watched one of my videos where I got rid of a rescue, she is still alive and uh, she is with Hen Harbor, which is where I originally got her. They're trying to help her out. I'm not sure what her fate will be, but she's definitely better off with them than me. My flock is gonna be growing pretty soon. I had someone reach out to me recently that un unfortunately has to get rid of her flock. And I'm really lucky that she's offered some of them to me. So we'll be getting some new girls here pretty soon. And, and she's got the most gorgeous chickens too. So I'm really honored that she picked me. Fill up everyone's food and water and see what we're gonna do the rest of the day. What you see over there, Rain? She had her little point going, but I don't see anything. Oh, Rain. You doing okay in there, baby? Oh, we have, a, oh goodness. Oh. Um, I don't like to be, you know, too luxury. This is an egg, It's and it's not a cracked egg. This is how it came out, it's like paper. So one of these girls needs some calcium really bad. Unfortunately, this is what happens when they're in the egg farms. They just, it's real bad, guys. We've all got a way to make it, but it just sucks, sucks to see these girls like this 
So got a couple good eggs, but someone, one of those girls is not, not doing good. So I'll add, I'll add some stuff to their diet, hopefully to get them a little bit more calcium and help them out. Uh, Grubbly Farms, Grubbly Farms makes some treats. They're, they're not very good at eating treats, these chickens. Um, so they, I, I normally actually will just mix it straight in with their food to get them to eat it. And that's a pretty good source of calcium. Now for the big flock, they see me just pick up the bucket of the Grubbly Farms and they go crazy as they know what's coming. Well, things are a little slow today, but I don't want to sit in the house anymore. So I think we'll go for a little ride. So I'm thinking. Come on, Rain. Ready to go? Haven't figured out where we're going yet, but we're going. I think we'll drive around the island a little bit. See some things. Explore a little bit. What else is there to do on rainy days, right? If you've ever wondered what do I mean when I say I live on an island, I mean I live on an island. I live in the Delta and it is made up of a whole bunch of little islands. So we are completely surrounded by the river. I don't live out in the middle of the ocean, but it is an island. It's all um, protected with levees and it is a very unique way of farming. We've got a ton of different crops out here, but anything that doesn't do well with a high water table, most likely won't do well out here. And don't worry about me driving. I'm on a back road. I'm not getting too crazy, don't worry. A lot of vineyards are being put out here. Good and a bad thing. So this building right here is actually called Beaver Union School. And once upon a time it was a school. People are fixing it up now. I think it's going to be a mission. But isn't that cool? Beaver Union School. followed by more vineyards. So because I live on an island, we actually have a ferry. So I'm not gonna go on it, but there it is. We have a ferry to go to the next island over. There's a car behind me now. Now I'll have to find somewhere to pull over. But I'm gonna be giving you guys a tour. I don't wanna be in a rush. And I don't want to be annoying to anybody else. Here is a very popular site. A lot of people have never heard of the town I live in, but they've heard of Grand Island because of the Grand Island Mansion. A ton of people have weddings here. There it is, Grand Island Mansion. Wouldn't be a bad place to live, huh?
those trees you see there are pears. Pears are pretty popular on this island. I don't know that many people are planting new pears, but for a long time, that was the main crop out here. They even have a pear fair. A lot of pears. I don't know a ton about pears, but I do believe they, they can live for a hundred plus years. We have another spot up here that's pretty popular. It is called Grand Island Vineyards. So there actually is a winery out here on Grand Island. I have not gotten to talk to them too much and I know it's like they're practically my neighbors. I should build a relationship with them. But one of these days I definitely will work on that. I, I also have not been wine tasting here but I do believe my mom and my sister has. So I, I'm really slacking. What's new? We're coming up on another one of three bridges that help people get on and off this island. There it is. Bridge number two. We have to take equipment across this bridge and it's a tight fit to get Big Blue through there. There's also a business upriver called Hemley Cider and they make cider from all the pears. So they've got, um, I don't know if they have a tasting room, but they're they're getting pretty big. They've done really well, family farmers, and now they've got their cider. If you've ever tried it, Hemley Cider, let me know. All these trees here are cherries. That's another popular crop in this area. don't know how many acres of pears are out here versus grapes. Gra uh, wine grapes out here, at least on Grand Island, is definitely a newer thing. There are some that, that have got some age to it, but a lot has been planted in the last five years. Or these pears, I mean, they're pushing 60, 70, 80 years old. But I should, I'll look up the, how many acres this whole island is. And it is probably 90% farming you know every farm's got a house on it so there's got to be a little bit that's not farming but all these grapes here are actually owned and farmed by Gallo not just contracted with Gallo like me these are actually Gallo's grapes so it's nice to have Gallo farming right on my island or the island I live on because I can follow their example on what they want to see. number two here. This one's green. The other two are yellow. Bridge
Bridge number two. Anyone heard of Wilcox Ag Equipment? It's built right here. heading into the town of Ride. The sign says population 60, but they do have a cool little spot here called the Ride Hotel. They do some weddings and then and there it is. Not quite as cool as the Grand Island Mansion, but it's still pretty cool. It's cool when little towns like this have so many, uh, you know, cool little spots you can stop at. Ride Hotel. They, they used to have a Sunday brunch. I think they still have it, but I honestly, the last time I went was high school. So it's been a while. Here a farmer put in walnuts. These are the only spots, spot we have walnuts on the island that I know of. And I don't think they've had their first harvest yet. It'll be interesting to see how the walnuts do some people have tried to plant almonds around here and not so good. They just can't handle the high water table. The walnuts are growing way better than the almonds ever did. I mean, the almonds just couldn't even take off. So I think they're, I think they're gonna do well. We'll see how long they last. bit of open ground that will be used for corn so it's still out there there's still plenty of open ground there's still plenty of open ground but definitely more and more is going into permanent crops which I don't know has its pros and its cons if we get into issues with water going to be rough having permanent crops. Coming up on bridge number three. go across this one. Well, we're technically on a different island now, but here's the grain elevators where we sell all our grain. People around here normally just don't store their own grain, not in our area at least. So it all comes here and that's all. 
So that was just a little tour of the surrounding area. That was not the entire island, but that was kind of some of the main points that I wanted to show you guys. It's not that big of an island, but you know, it's got a lot going on for it. Hope you guys enjoyed the little tour.